So LeBron James is now number two on the all-time scoring list, passing Karl Malone, and he did it with a crazy performance, scoring 38 points on amazing efficiency. This is what LeBron James had to say after this insane accomplishment. Take a look. For a second, you talk a lot about the kid from Akron and going up the list. It's been it was Kobe or it's MJ and then Kobe and now Karl Malone uh, leaving just Kareem. How do you put all of that into context and how much, if any, of that was on your mind as you entered this game in that first half? Um, you know, just to be um, a part of this league for as many years as I've been a part of it and uh, to be linked with some of the greatest that ever played this game, guys that I've either watched or studied or, or read about uh, or inspired to be like, um, it is, uh, I honestly always just lost for words for it. And, um, you know, it's a, it's an honor for myself um, and for my hometown and for my family, my friends, to be able uh, to, to live these moments um, throughout this journey. And, um, you know, that's why, exactly what I do it for. I do it for, you know, my family, my friends, my hometown, um, and anybody that's been a part of this journey throughout this, uh, this run so far. So despite the loss, LeBron still got an amazing accomplishment. He's now only behind Kareem in the all-time scoring list and is around 2,000 points away from passing him as well. Even though he had an amazing accomplishment passing Malone, the Lakers still lost and are treading deep in water as they are slowly getting out of playoff picture. But what do you guys think? Can the Lakers bounce back? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.